All right, I have been waiting forever to start this video and I'm in my basement. I'm sure you can see we're redoing a bunch of the basement. We're trying to get rid of stuff and um, uh, uh, tone stuff down since my dad passed away a few years ago and just trying to like make it usable. So that's why I'm down here. And also Nate's here and Jill and him are playing Assassin's Creed while I record this. But I've waited a, a long time to record this because we have leaf blower legions outside and everybody and their grandma is using their lawnmower for some reason at 1.30 in the afternoon on a Monday. And I wanted to touch base with you for a few minutes and tell you that I miss you. No, I wanted to talk to you for a couple minutes. A lot of times I reserve these types of videos for like members and patrons and stuff like that. Not because I don't want to talk to you guys, uh, but because nobody watches them. And so I usually do these kind of like just talking videos with them. And I pick very specific topics to talk about on this channel, like movie, game reviews, etc., top fives uh, for general uploads. But I wanted to talk to you about something that I thought was important today that actually matters to me, which is that I took a little break. And this isn't really a video just about me. This is a video about you guys, because for some reason, some of you say that when I talk to you about stuff, it helps you out, makes you think about something, or maybe uh, makes you be a little less hard on yourself. I can't understand listening to me, but more power to you. I appreciate it. I wanted to kind of make this video because I think it's important to tell you where I was at with stuff. I was getting very burned out and tired again. Um, it's that time of year. I have seasonal depression issues uh, for winter and... I guess year round, but it's very bad at winter. It just makes me very tired and feel unmotivated. Normally my path through that is to just brute force it and push right through it and just do my stuff the way I should. I keep doing my job. That's how I was raised is you just keep working and you do your best, right? But I think sometimes it's really important to try and take some time for yourself. Now I know not everyone can take time off work. Like I took a couple days, I would say two days and I just didn't do very much. I edited a Let's Play part here or there. That's about it. Um, I usually work at least 70 hours a week uh, just because in order to do YouTube and stuff like that and actually make it go somewhere now, um, you pretty much have to grind your ass off for years and years before you get an audience that is built in and especially with the notification system and stuff. Bro, I feel like this guy is going to like mow my house away. Like he, his lawnmower is on my walls. I don't know what's going on. But the point is... I'm not trying to make this video like completely about me. I'm just making a point. I was completely overworking myself for a very long time. I was not taking time for myself. I was not taking some time to recharge, to watch a couple of movies, play a couple of games, you know, just have some fun, um, go for walks, go outside, those kinds of things. I wasn't really doing enough of them. And it was really taking a toll on my, my mental state, my mental health, as they say. And it was really dragging me down. You know, I feel like it wasn't affecting the quality of the stuff I was putting out. Sometimes it does. It wasn't this time because I was just like, you know, I, I would record stuff ahead of time when I was in a good mood and I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to edit this. And then I'd edit it in a bad mood, but I'd be like, well, at least I recorded this in a good mood. So it's, it's going to be fine. Um, but I've noticed that for me, like when I'm very unhappy, it makes the things that I do, whether they be in my personal life or my work life or whatever, it makes those things not as good. You know, it, it makes those things like it's reflected in the quality of what I do. Maybe it's reflected in the quality of having a short temper. Uh, you know, maybe it's reflected in the quality of not having patience on a certain day or being easily irritable or just saying something that normally I wouldn't say that I would keep in my head or I'd, I'd realize like, oh, that's not a respectful thing to say to somebody. I should really kind of tone that back. A lot of those things are they're harder to control the more sad you are or the more tired you are, or the more burned out you are. And. I guess the reason I wanted to make this video is because I feel like a lot of you guys work really hard. You know, like a lot of you guys work very, very hard. And a lot of you can't take time off from work. You know, you can't just be like, I'm going to call out today and take a day off. But even if you can't do that kind of thing, I think it's really important. Apparently, this guy takes a day off every fucking day because he's mowing his lawn 24-7. I don't know what's going on out there. I think it's very important to sometimes take some time for yourself, you know, even if you're like, oh, I had to work a 10 hour shift today. It was ridiculous. I'm really tired. You know, maybe instead of just dropping right into bed and sleeping until the next morning, maybe watch a movie, you know, or maybe hang out with a friend for a couple hours and play a board game, anything. You know, th this is what I want to talk to you about. 
is like I feel like there's a lot of extremes, especially in American society. There's like people who who I would say glorify fun and like that's all they care about, all they live for is just fun. And they don't care about getting anything done. They don't care about their work. Uh, they don't care about any of it, right? It's just like I need to live life to the fullest and then die. And and it's very um humanist, right? And I think a lot of those people feel that way because they're just seeking fulfillment. And then I think there's a lot of people who work because they're seeking fulfillment. You know, like they're seeking, I want to provide for my family or I want to provide for myself to buy this thing I want or I want to get out of debt or all that stuff. And and I don't think there's anything wrong with either of those things. I think that any extreme though is bad. You know, like if you are living for fun and that's that's all you live for, that's it. I, I don't feel like that's a good thing either. Because like a lot of times you're going to find meaningless fun. You're not going to find fulfillment. Uh, you're not going to find lasting relationships and friendships. You're just going to find friendships and relationships of convenience to have fun now. And then you end up old and alone. Um, but then on the other hand, if all you live for is work, right? Like if all you're doing is like, I need to grind away every day and I need to just, you know, work myself to death. It's like you're going to die young or younger than you should have. You're going to stress yourself out. You're going to feel like you wasted your life, you know, too, because you're going to feel like you didn't get moderation. You're going to feel like you didn't get to do a good job on the things you care about, but also, you know, meet people, make relationships, friendships, et cetera, that are long lasting and matter and carry forward. And when I was in uh, high school, I was very much like fun obsessed. I was like, ah, none of this shit matters. I don't care at all. And I didn't really try very hard. And there are people, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to say I'm really smart. There are people who tr have to try really hard in high school and it's, and it's difficult for them. Um, maybe they are not test oriented, things like that. There's other people who don't really have to try and they just slide through and they're, and they're, they do fine. Um, and I, I don't think either of those is, is really good either. You know, it's like, again, it's like an extreme. It's like the, the people who try so hard that they, they have no fun. They don't, enjoy anything they look back at that time and they're like wow I didn't I never had a girlfriend I never made friends I never you know went to movies I never, I never did anything and then the other side it's like you get to college and you know you're vastly un underprepared like I was vastly underprepared for college because I had thought oh I can just slide through everything in life and it's whatever I don't really have to put in any effort and then I got to college and started getting my ass kicked and I started working really hard and when I was in college, my dad uh, was diagnosed with cancer. And I realized that the easiest way to not think about anything that was happening to me, to not think about how difficult it was to work two jobs and go to college full time and take care of my dad, the way to do that was to bury myself more in work, to like make my entire purpose the tasks that I was doing. And that's something that still sticks with me. Like I have a really hard time living in the moment. I have a really hard time like enjoying what I'm doing now. I'm always looking to the next thing. What do I have to do later? What do I have to get done for tomorrow? Are people going to be disappointed in me if I don't do this thing? Um, I've been both of those extremes. That's the extreme I struggle with now is like, I feel like I can't take a break. I feel like I can't slow down. I feel like I can't just unplug for eight hours, you know, take a, an actual full night's rest. I feel like I can't, it's like, it's, it's wasting time. Like I need to be getting something done. I don't think that's healthy either. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I've dealt with both of these extremes and you know, there are days where it's like, I'm 29 years old now. I recently had my birthday, um, very recently. And sometimes I think like, you know, did I waste my last few years not taking enough time for myself or enough time for my family or whatever. Um, just the same way I, I felt when I got to college and I felt like, did I, did I waste my intelligence? Did I, did I make it so that I, I have a harder time succeeding because I just wanted to float through? And I guess the, I don't have a script or anything like this is just a, uh, I, I don't want it to be a preachy video or be annoying. Um, but this is just like a talking video about this stuff. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is because I think both are important and it's something that maybe vocalizing this will help me, but I really do feel like both things are important. Now, no matter what religious creed or belief system or whatever you believe in, um, I personally think it's important to take care of yourself the best you can. I don't like people who idolize themselves. I don't like narcissists. I, I don't like people 
who just live for themselves. I really can't stand those people. I constantly make sure those people are not in my life. I don't want them in my life uh, because they are the kind of people who, when things get tough, they're nowhere to be found because they're taking care of them, right? And those are the kinds of people who cut off meaningful relationships when it gets too scary for them or friendships. Uh, those are the kinds of people who like use you for an activity like, you know, oh, I love going out and drinking. But then as soon as you're like, oh, I need a break from that, they're gone. They're not your friend anymore. I've had a ton of friends like that, um, you know, and, and I don't want that kind of person in my life. Right. But I also and I don't want to be that kind of person, but I also don't want to be the kind of person who's too busy for everyone all the time who's like so obsessed with work, so obsessed with like getting stuff done and so obsessed with like, oh, I need to do this thing right now um, that I miss today. I miss this moment. I miss tomorrow. And I look back when I'm 50 and I'm like, what happened to my life? Like, where'd that go? You know, I don't think anybody really wants to be either of those people. I think that it's very important to take time for yourself. And it's very important to do things that are meaningful to you as well, like work, um, you know, making relationships, all that stuff. I think they're both important, but I, I do think it's really important to take some time to just take a break. You know, even if you can't take off work, like I said, I'm not trying to say like, hey, everybody call out sick tomorrow. You know, if you can't take off work, you can't do whatever, take in an hour, you know, to, to take two hours to watch a movie. You know, maybe you're like, well, I'm, I'm swamped. I'm a single parent. I have so much going on. Sitting your kid down for a movie that you guys will both like, you know, something like that even. Um, instead of shoving them in front of an iPad and, and then burying your head in the, in the laptop and thinking, man, I wish I was someone else, you know, finding a way to take time to just chill for a couple of hours, because there's a lot of people in the world who can't, there's a lot of people in the world who they don't have the ability to do that. You know, like we've been seeing on the news and I don't talk a lot about this stuff because I think it's, it's way above me. Like I'm not an expert. Um, but we've been seeing in the news, you know, like these horrible wars and atrocities and, people dying and, and, and just horrible stuff. And those people, they can't relax. Like they, they are living in hell, you know, they are just bombarded with violence all the time. And then, you know, you think of the life that a lot of people don't get to live, right? Like they don't have the option, but then people who do have the option, you know, who, who do have the option to try and live a fulfilled life, self-sabotage in these ways, and I think it's really sad because, you know, it's, I guess it's like the classic example you'd hear at the dinner table of like, well, a starving person would love to eat those peas, Reginald, why don't you eat your peas? And you think like, oh, well, you're an idiot, mom, shut up. But it's like, it is true that like, we take a lot of stuff for granted, you know, every day. Um, if you are in a position where you can sit down and watch a YouTube video or, or even make one, you know, I'm saying this about myself too. I'm not preaching at you guys. I'm saying just anything like that. Or you're in a position where you can sit down and watch a movie or go on a walk and not feel in danger. Not everybody is. There's a lot of places in the world, thousands, millions of people who don't get to feel that way. And so it's very sad for me when I see people that can enjoy their lives and can make a difference as well, who can do both, uh, who squander that. I guess that's why I wanted to make this video because I feel like if this is something that bothered me, right? If, if I was completely burying myself in stuff so I don't have to think about difficult things. I was completely burying myself in stuff, uh, you know, always for the next day and never taking some time to just chill. You know, think about the things that matter. Um, you know, think about my friends and family and stuff like that. I'm sure some of you guys are too. That's why I wanted to make this video just kind of talking. You can tell me if, what you think in the comments down below. Maybe you're like, Jay, you are a giant, massive moron. This is the worst advice I've ever heard. Um, I, 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 I have no idea. Uh, but it was important to me to make this because I, I just wanted to talk to you guys, touch base. I like to do these once in a while. Again, if you do like this style of video, I like to do this kind of thing for the members and the patrons over on Patreon. Um, I'm not trying to make this like an advertisement, but I do need to throw it in there. Okay, I need money to live too. I totally understand. Um, so I do like doing behind the scenes videos. I do like kind of connecting, talking, updating, stuff like that. Um, so the join button is under the video. It doesn't really work on Apple phones for some reason, like iOS, iPhones and stuff. They just don't get along with YouTube, but it works on desktop. I know it works on Android. Uh, also, Jill just recently put up a video on her channel, Magical Jill, which I was in, where we talked about some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. That was super fun. So I hope you'll check that out. And uh, finally, we do actually have a little 
little little sale going on on EnchantedGlamour.com or DegenerateJ.com, depending on which one you want to go to. That's G-L-A-M-O-R uh, for Enchanted Glamour, where we sell all kinds of comic book resin pieces and merch and stuff like that. That's really fun. Jill does handmade jewelry. So I did want to throw that in here at the end because that's something fun that we like to do. And uh, there is a little sale on DegenerateJ.com right now using checkout code SPOOKY. You can get a little bit of a 15% discount, I believe it is. So hopefully I didn't get that wrong or Jill will get mad at me. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in here at the end. Um, this was not meant to be like a big long video leading into an advertisement. I just try and, you know, update you, tell you what we're working on and stuff. I needed a break, guys. I needed some time. I needed to chill. And I hope you take a little bit for yourself. You know, whatever that is. Maybe there's like some girl or guy you've been meaning to talk to, but you're too scared. Just do it. Maybe there is uh, a video game you've been wanting to start, but you like keep burying yourself in, uh, you know, your iPad after work or whatever and just having no motivation. Just start it. Have have a little fun. You can still do your stuff, you know. Moderation, it matters. Jill and Nate are, are yelling upstairs, so they must be doing something. No, I'm just kidding. Nate's wife's boyfriend is the real threat. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, everybody, stay shway.